Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm an actor. And today I want to chat about books, but specifically I want to chat about acting books. And you might be wondering, Alicia, why are you qualified to give me recommendations for acting books? Well, I've been an actor for about 10 years. Um, and before that I was a scientist, which absolutely doesn't help my case. We can get into that story another time. But in these last 10 years of being an actor, I've worked pretty consistently and I've learned a lot. And it's been an incredible opportunity to learn on the job, but as I was starting to get my footing in the industry, reading books was actually incredibly helpful in me sort of understanding not just technique, but also the business of acting and so much more. <laughs> <laughs> the three books that I'm going to recommend today have actually had a real impact on my career. I'm not trying to sell you these books. There's no affiliate links or anything like that. I'm only just trying to give some recommendations based on my own personal experience to people who just don't have a way to get into the industry or they don't even know where to start. I'm only speaking from my own personal experience to give the non-Nepo babies a chance. You know, where do you start? Because you can move out to LA, you can take workshops, you can take acting classes, you can do private one-on-one -on -one coaching. I mean, there's a gamut of stuff and people who are willing to take your money. Um, but you can also start very simply by getting a couple books, understanding a little bit more about technique, about the business, and from there kind of decide how you want to approach starting your career. I guess I should also say, yes, I did start my career 10 years ago, and so the industry has changed a lot. I know self-tapes now are pretty much all virtual, uh, they're all digital, you know, they still call them self-tapes, <laughs> even though they really should call them self-MOVs or self-MP4s. My experience is not the same as maybe someone starting right now because technology has really changed the way you get into the business, but I do think that books are books and the philosophy in these books can help anyone at any stage. So disclaimer preface aside, let's get into it. This is the first book I'm going to recommend. I'm calling this The Craft Book. It's The Work of an Actor by Michael Wilson. It's just a great acting book. It has a lot of exercises and a lot of questions for you to ask yourself about your character. It helps you really get specific about your character so that your character can have a strong point of view. And when you think about the characters you love watching in TV and film, I guarantee you they all have really strong points of view, even in comedy, even in drama. And uh, this book is so easy to read. You know, I've had it for maybe eight years and I just keep coming back to it. I keep coming back to it. I've mentioned it to other actor friends who are successful and they've also read this book and go back to it again and again. It gives me confidence and it gives me the freedom to do a ton of prep work and then just let it go. So uh, if you were a friend of mine, which if you're watching my video, I'm going to go ahead and say you are. This is something that I would recommend you if you were like, I'm on the market for a good acting book. I would, I would point you in this direction. So the next book I'm going to recommend is what I'll call the biz book. And I actually have two copies of it, which just goes to show you I'm always loaning this book out or giving this book away because it is to me almost like a self-help book for actors that you can come back to again and again. It gets you to sort of think about why you want to be an actor in your core and then actual tasks that you can do so you can have some sense of control as you wait for these opportunities to come your way whether it's auditions or new jobs or even meetings or say it's and this book is not specifically for actors milton katselis was a director and an acting coach um and he was super popular in the 80s and i think he was a scientologist it doesn't have anything to do with his book though, but what I will say is his book is something that can be for anyone who's in the creative industry. So if you're thinking about becoming a musician or you're thinking about becoming a writer or something like that, this book is still really helpful in turning your dreams into action. <laughs> I love this book. And you know, it's been a little while since I've read it, which means I'm probably due for a read, but oh, okay. So I have uh, some underlined and I'll just read to you what I've underlined. Getting up once is tough. Getting up a hundred times is ridiculous. 
well, be prepared because that's the way it just might be. And Lord knows I can absolutely say that my career is felt like that. He has a strong philosophy in creating a business for yourself. There's a section in the book that talks about getting yourself a desk and getting yourself a safe space that is just for work so that it actually feels like it's taking space in your life. So those sorts of exercises, I mean, the book has a countless number of exercises, but it's a super approachable book. You could read this in a day or two, um, especially I mean, the font's so big. And no matter what you want to get into, no matter what sort of creative outlet you want to explore and perhaps make it a real thing, give this book a read. And if you're in the neighborhood, I'll loan you one. And the third recommendation I have Comically, I don't actually have a physical copy of it because I realized I've loaned it out, but I'm calling this one The Storybook. It is The Kid Stays in the Picture by Robert Evans. Robert Evans was a film producer, but he started out as an actor and then worked his way into becoming an independent film producer at Paramount Studios. He later became married to a very famous actress, Ally McGraw, and at the later stage of his life, as he was producing movies like The Godfather, he was implicated in a murder. So it has pretty much everything you need to round out a Hollywood story. And the reason I'm recommending this book is because as important as it is to have your technique, to have your business sense as an actor in Hollywood, you also need to understand the history of Hollywood. Hollywood has a long, sorted history and it has a lot of ups it has a lot of downs and it's tumultuous and as dramatic as the movies and television shows that they put on screens and i think it's really important for actors to have a respect and understanding for the past so read books about hollywood history go back and watch old movies like if you don't have a great rolodex of old films that have meant something to you through the years start watching them. The industry is constantly changing and the more you know about the industry you're walking into, the more you can prepare yourself and the more you can have a respect for the way things are and then and also you can find ways to improve them. That's it. Those are my three book recommendations, suggestions. You can find all of them online. I hope you found these recommendations helpful and I hope they inspire you to follow your dreams. And uh, if you have any book recommendations that you want to share with other people who have watched this video, drop them in the comments, start a conversation about the books that have really impacted you as you started your career. I'd love to check them out myself because I always think that there's space to keep learning. That being said, uh, have a great day and uh, we'll talk soon.